Good day folks, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to install Mendeley in Word. So if you're looking for reference management, this is the place to be. So let's get into it. So the first thing you're going to go ahead and do is jump into Mendeley.com and if you don't have an account you will have to now at this stage sign in and you'll get over to this page. Now as you can see at the bottom of this page it says download Mendeley reference manager. You're going to click on this and it will open up this page okay and you can now download it for windows and if you're using a different operating system there are the links for those operating systems but we are downloading for windows and it'll take a few minutes now once you are complete you will see that this is what your download looks like and you're going to go ahead click on the file that was downloaded and here you will have to choose some installation options okay so what we're going to do is just say install, we're going to leave it as is, and it will now take a few seconds just to run through the installation process. Right, we are in now, and we can just select to have this Mendeley Reference Manager run. We can go ahead and say finish, and we are now in. So what we're going to do on the top left hand side you will see all of your tools and all of your menu items so of course you will have to go ahead and sign in so on the top left hand side you will see now the tools item you're going to click on this and here you have to install the Mendeley web importer okay so we're going to click on this and it'll take us over to this page and we're going to go ahead over here on the left hand side and we can just click on the get web importer for chrome you will be redirected to your web store to your extensions page and you can just click on add to chrome and add extension right over here and within the next few minutes you will see that it will be uploaded to your computer and it will now be ready for use going back now to our app we're going to go ahead back into tools and now we have to install Medley site for Microsoft Word. Okay, so this process also, it allows us to just install this add-on. And you can see over here, it is um, all the details. And you're going to just go ahead and say, get it now. And you'll have to fill in these details over here. It'll now redirect you to Microsoft 365 to complete this process and you will now have to sign in with one of your accounts. So I'm just going to go ahead and use this account. It's the same account that I used when I signed in with Mendeley and you can now go ahead and tap on open in Word up on this page over here. So it'll now ask you if you would like to open this link externally and it'll now open in Microsoft Word. You'll also see on the bottom of your page, it'll say that site references using Mendeley site. It says add-ins loaded successfully, and it is over here on the right-hand side. So the way you will access this is going to references on your ribbon, and to the right-hand side, you will see the Mendeley site, and over here, it'll be on the right-hand side. We're going to tap on get started. Again, you'll have to just sign in with your details again so that you can access the features. So now you want to go ahead and click on go to Mendeley web library and this will open up and you will see on the left hand side you will be able to manage all of your documents. Here you can drag and drop or you can just click on add new. You can import files from your computer straight from here. All right. So we're just going to go ahead and we are going to look for a file that we can upload. And once we go back into Microsoft Word, you can just go ahead and tap on refresh this add in and you will now be able to see the document that you pulled in. So what we're going to do now is go ahead and open up a new file. So I'm going to go ahead and I've opened up this one over here. And what you're going to do is you're going to go over to references in your ribbon and go over to Mendeley site and this will open up. Now you'll have to just place your cursor where you would like to create your citation and you can go ahead, select your reference and in insert one citation and here it is it's as simple as that now you have a site manager right over here within microsoft word if this was a helpful guide you can go ahead and drop us a big old thumbs up share this video with a friend and we'll see you next time folks peace out